Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniatures. Today I am going to try to go through some of the Privateer Press backlog of models that I have had clogging up my table here. Now, make no mistake, I really like Privateer stuff. Um, I don't get to focus on it as often as I would like to because unfortunately I film like the first half of a bunch of these videos and then I can't find them and then they sit for weeks and months and I just feel really guilty because they're really neat models. Like, take Zidanos here. This is one of the Draken M Armada. I think it's Armada. Draken Armada sounds right. Uh, for Monster Apocalypse. But he's just a big seven limbed, two headed, seven because there's four arms, two legs, and a tail, dragon monster. Which would be perfect for all sorts of different, you know, sci-fi games. Who doesn't want to have a big, armored, mechanical, cybernetic, multi-limbed dragon monster? Obviously, I do. Uh, I have yet to actually start bolstering up enough forces for an entire dragon armada. So, unfortunately, he's just been kind of sitting around with the other few monster apocalypse guys. Like, what's his name? Rastaban here is resin wings plus i can't figure out what kind of a paint scheme i want to use for them that's actually been one of the biggest limiters in that so i'm not sure even if i'm going to actually use the official monster apocalypse base or if i'm just going to stick them on like you know 50 or 60 millimeter ones because he's big enough to fit one that's for sure and then i can use them like for stargrave or something fun like that couple other random and interesting models. I've picked up quite a few of the other Riot Quest models. I don't even know if I've shown them all off. Like Thunderstone Bragg, I believe that's what his name was. The cigar chomping, pistol packing, pygmy trollkin here. Or Widget, who is missing her hand. I don't know how that happened. Her hand is completely absent. Or I should say her arm. It's just, it doesn't exist. I'm just going to have to stick like a piece of green stuff in there and call it a day. Surprisingly, it doesn't really affect how she goes together. Um, I'm unfortunately starting to build up quite the backlog of Riot Quest models. Uh, I know these are season one models, but I've already got videos of season two guys, and season two guys already in the process of getting painted, so I kind of need to get moving on those. Speaking of other season one models, we have Flugwug here. Flugwug came with a bunch of, not only do he have new treasure cards, I believe, but he came with a bunch of resin chests, and he's just a fun... Like croakers? I don't even remember what the name of the, the race is. But he's a frogman. He's like licking one of his eyeballs here. And he's carrying all kinds of fat loot. And the treasure chest. But yeah, he came with a bunch of different chests. That all had different unique rules, I believe. I have not even tried using these yet, obviously, because they're still unpainted. And you know, I'm very picky about playing with unpainted models. But they are fun little treasure chests. I think that's all of them. There might be one more. Another fun Riot Quest model I have not had time to show off is Helga. This is a Riot Quest model. It's a post-apocalyptic boar. I forget what they're called. Not the Grim. The Pharaoh, that's it. I'm like, I knew what it was. I think I have a painted Helga somewhere, or some of the Valkyries possibly, but she is going completely post-apocalyptic on a giant motorcycle. She's supposed to be on a 50 millimeter base, and she barely sits on one as it is. So just a fun, silly model, but you know what? We will absolutely find a use for her. Besides that, let's see what else we've got here. We've got... The elf that was formerly known as Gorshade. I feel like his head's sitting too high up on that armor, but I dig its high techness. It looks cool. I mean, it looks like you could probably get away with using him as an Eldar or something almost. Me, I'll probably be finding a use for him in Stargrave. It should be dropping soon, so... Can't wait to find an excuse. Now we don't have to pay exorbitant GW prices. Although I do have a couple of Eldar, so, hmm, I don't know. Might be fun. Speaking of other models to use for Stargrave, or for, you know, War Machine, we have Falkir the Merciless, I believe his name is. I know it's Falkir. 
from Retribution. I love House of the Weird guys in their crazy, hardcore, heavily armored, high-tech looking gear. And he's got that big, cool looking axe there. I have no idea how I'm going to paint that cloak. Or his armor, come to think of it. I, I want to say that Elwer's stuff was different colors than the rest of the Retribution. If I remember correctly, which is entirely debatable, he does fit on a 30 millimeter base. I mean, he's a chunky figure, but, you know, the Not Gore shade is just a little bit larger. And that's one of the things I actually like about Privateer's catalog at this point. They just have such a variety between all their various game lines. I mean, even if you're not going to play the games proper, I, I'll be honest, I haven't played a game of War Machine in years, uh, but I love the models. They're just a lot of fun. Uh, and that's one of the things I really dig about Privateer stuff. So if you haven't had a chance, do keep your eyes peeled. I know finding this stuff, at least for me, locally at retail, has been next to impossible. Nobody's carrying it anymore, so I have to get it all online. Maybe, hopefully, you guys are having a little bit better luck at it than I am, but I am not having much of it, at least locally. Um, but yeah, hopefully... I will try to do some more videos like this in the future, just with a bunch of the random figures. Most of these guys didn't require really any actual building other than, like, Helga or our dragon friend. I mean, yeah, not Gorshade here, just had to have his hands and his head glued on. Falkir had the two pieces on his back, his arm and his legs, that's about it. Our Trollkin Pygmy here, I don't think he had any glue. Did I, I can't remember if I showed him. Our croaky friend here, just one piece too. So, not like there's a whole lot in terms of displaying for the building of said models, but they do deserve a little bit of time in the spotlight because they're very interesting and unique sculpts. And I gotta go get myself one of those new Asphyxius the Redeemed or whatever he's called, where it's all high tech sci fi'd up. Again, some nice models that have a whole lot of uses outside of only privateer press games of course you're more than welcome to and that actually is one of the things that also needs to be mentioned for the riot quest figures if you aren't interested in playing riot quest all these things well all three four of these figures still have rules for war machine proper uh, i believe they still go within their factions they're not like mercenaries or anything like that uh, then again she might be i could be wrong so there is that cross-compatibility play available if that's something you're looking for. So I'll put a link down below if you haven't checked out Privateer's website in a while. If you guys know a place to get a good deal on it, by all means, let me know. There are quite a few models that I need to add to fill in my collection. With that said, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures, saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here soon. Bye-bye.